Today we're going to make a delicious soup. Jessica from Modern Homestead Alaska started this hashtag. We're going to be doing hashtag souping with friends. So we're going to be making a delicious chicken potato soup. First, we need to get all of your ingredients together. Hello family, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I am Vicki and you're with Rami in the Kitchen. We're going to be making chicken potato soup. Jessica from Modern Homestead Alaska has started a hashtag souping with friends and we're going to be making soup. So let me tell you everything we have for this soup. So I took one of our frozen bags of four chicken thighs as well as I had a bag of two. So we have six total chicken thighs. I have a pack of bacon that I buy it in bulk, portion them out, put them in vacuum seal bags. We're going to go ahead and cook all of this bacon. We only need about 10 slices, but we're going to cook it all just so we can have cooked bacon ready. I have about two pounds of yellow Yukon potatoes, some celery. This is frozen diced celery. Have some already pre-chopped frozen onions, plus some carrots that we picked up yesterday from our Azure order. Two garlic pucks. So the first thing I want to do is get the chicken thighs in a pot on the stove so they can start cooking and making an additional broth. And then we need to work on bacon and then the soup. So I have about a gallon of water in this three gallon stock pot. Just going to add our chicken in here raw. It is skin on, bone in. They are still just a slight bit frozen. So we got the chicken thighs in this pot with about a gallon of water. We're going to let that cook until the chicken is done. We can remove the meat from the bones, remove the skin, and shred up that chicken. So on the large bacon sheet, I have it lined with aluminum foil with parchment paper, the baking wrap with another piece of parchment paper. I took the bacon out of the freezer this morning, so it's still pretty frozen. I'm just going to go ahead and cook this whole pack of bacon. It should be around three, three and a half pounds. I want to go ahead and count out what I need for our soup first. That should be enough. And the way I like to cook when I'm cooking a large quantity of bacon is I just, I will bake this right in the oven on this parchment paper. That way the husband can have bacon sandwiches if he wants. If I want to make something else with bacon, we can use do that. Or I can just put them in Ziploc bags and stick them in the freezer. Cooked bacon is nice to have on hand. And I'll keep it in the freezer until we need to bake some more. So we're just going to do them just like this until this whole pack is cooked. The oven is preheated to 400 degrees. It takes approximately 30 minutes to get this bacon crispy the way we like it. Now we're going to peel the potatoes and get our carrots prepared. The onions and the celery are already chopped, so they're good. The garlic we had, the pups, they're fine. So let's work on the potatoes and the carrots.
So we're just going to dice them to between a half inch and a three quarter inch cube. I'll fill this bowl up with water and just set it aside until we're ready for it. This is the carrots we got from Azure yesterday. And what I mean by seconds, they kind of broke at the tip. I'm not sure if you can see that. They're in odd shapes. And then that's a carrot that's split into two carrots. That's what it means when they are seconds. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just not perfect. We're not eating these as whole carrots, so it doesn't really matter. So we peeled the carrots. Now we're going to go ahead and dice them up. We'll put about equal parts of the frozen celery as we do have carrots. First, bacons are done. So I have a plate lined with paper towels. We're just going to lay these over here, drain the bacon fat, and do it all again. Get another thing of bacon going in the oven. And in another 30 minutes, we'll take that one out. All right, the chicken thighs are done in here, or almost done. We're going to remove them so they can cool off while we get started with our soup base. So we can actually get in here and shred this chicken. We're going to save this stock because we're going to use this in our soup before we open that jar. But I want to set it aside. So I have the Dutch oven. We'll put some olive oil in the base. So we have eight ounces of bacon that we cut up into smaller pieces. We're going to go ahead and fry that. And we want this bacon to be super crispy. So we're going to take out the bacon Put it on a plate with paper towels. Nice and crispy. Okay. 
And we'll turn it down, the burner down just a bit, and we're going to add our vegetables. So this is about two cups of onions. The carrots and the celery. And we just want to cook that until the vegetables are soft. Go ahead and add some salt and pepper. I have it on a medium, medium low. Gotta make sure those vegetables are coated with that bacon fat. We went ahead and swapped out the bacon again back in the oven. Let's go ahead and work on our chicken thighs. We're going to remove the skin and the bone and chop it up very small. Like I said, they are not done, but they will finish cooking in the soup itself. I'm just going to run my knife through it just to make them a little bit smaller. As for the bones, we're just going to add it to our stock bag. Put this back in the freezer. The skin we're going to throw away. We're going to go ahead and add our garlic pups. The vegetables in here are starting to get tender. time I really follow a recipe is when I'm baking a cake or a pie or something of that nature. But when I'm cooking stove top like a soup, the recipe is written beautiful. If you want to look it up, it's called chicken potato soup. And it's the author his name is Stephanie. I just googled a potato soup and this one struck me perfect. Although this recipe sounds delicious, I cannot follow a recipe. I like the suggestion of recipes and then turn it into my own. So I'm not weighing and measuring all the things like she has on hers but I'm using it as a guide to make it mine. And that's what I'm trying to, ins to inspire you. You can watch my videos and see what we make for dinner, but you don't have to follow the recipe to the T. You can take what I make and tweak it and make it your own. That is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping you will see this soup, even though we use Stephanie's soup as an inspiration, I'm making it my own. And I hope you take the soup that I'm making today and make it yours. Get in the kitchen, play around with some ingredients until you find what works for you and your family. It is starting to smell so good in here, family. So we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I 
because we have the bacon fat in here with a little bit of olive oil we're going to make a roux with some flour so we can put two tablespoons of flour Now we're just going to cook the raw flour just for a minute. And then we have the chicken water over here where we cook the chicken thighs. It's right there. We're going to start slowly adding in that water. We're going to add the chicken to the pot. And our potatoes. We're going to put the lid on. Have a little thin spot right there. And we're going to let this cook until the chicken is done and the potatoes are done. In the meantime, we're we're still cooking bacon. So we are boiling, so everything is cooking very nicely. We have not added the cream or the cheese yet. We're just going to wait till those potatoes are done. And the way you can tell a potato is done is just put a fork through it. If there's no resistance, then they're done. We are not near done yet. So we're going to let that cook for about another 30 minutes and then we'll check it again but I can tell you it smells delicious the bacon is going to be for garnish when we bowl this up so the bacon doesn't get soggy in that broth but the bacon grease is adding delicious flavor I did taste the broth and it needs a lot of salt and pepper. Potatoes are very, very, very close. I like adding about a tablespoon of butter to my cream soups. It just adds another depth of flavor. If you haven't tried it, please try it. It'll add a healthy fat and add a little bit more creaminess to it. Look at that, so beautiful. So I have a quart of milk. I'm going to add about half of this. So we're going to add two cups. And I'm just eyeballing it. I have about two cups of pepper jack cheese. Use any kind of melty cheese that you have on hand. I do prefer the pepper jack because it adds... A little bit of pepperness to it. We're going to cook this until the milk heats up and the cheese melts. And then it'll be time to have some soup. Do you want to taste it for salt and pepper? It's 
spot on family. It is almost time for soup. Who's ready? The last of the bacon is coming out of the oven. Look at that beautiful mountain of bacon. Beautiful. And cleanup is going to be super easy. Now this pan is clean and the only thing we have to wash is our wire rack. Now I saw this somewhere, it might have been on YouTube, how to clarify bacon grease. I don't know if it works but we're going to try it. So we're going to pour it into this mason jar and you can see the the brown bits in here. And now we're going to fill the rest of it with cold water. We're going to put a used canning lid on here plus a ring. You're supposed to give it a good shake, store it in the refrigerator upside down, and the fat is supposed to rise to the top or the bottom, and then the water with the bits in it is supposed to be at the bottom or the top. So we'll stick this in the refrigerator. Who knows? We'll see what we get. So in the time it took us to cook that big bundle of bacon, we have soup ready. Are you ready for a bowl? I know I am. You ready, family? It smells so good. Look how creamy that is. We're going to make sure we get all those vegetables and some chicken. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Let's put a little bit of bacon on there. Nice crispy bacon. And if this is not enough, that's okay. We have more. I'm excited to try this. See if I can find the perfect bite with some chicken, potatoes, bacon, all the other vegetables. This is going to be hot. This is going to be super hot. Family, that is delicious. That is so creamy. This is a keeper. This soup will go into our winter rotation of soup. This is delicious. And having that crunchy bacon right on the top. I should have made some biscuits. Well, I want to say thank you to Jessica from Modern Homestead Alaska for coming up with the hashtag souping with friends. I enjoy making soup and I love eating soup. I hope you do too. If you don't mind, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. This is a kitchen where we make homemade, from scratch, real food from real ingredients to nourish our family's bodies with no boxes, no pre-made anything. Everything is cooked from scratch. If you're interested in learning that, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you part of the Grammy family. 
right over here you're going to see two videos go check those out until the next upload they're either going to inspire you to get in your kitchen or they'll give you a chuckle either one is fine with me until next time y'all have a blessed day bye family thank you jessica